So I have put a lot of thought into the most simple explanation about the use register. Hopefully, this is the last video you will watch about it. I have a little demonstration here of what we're going to be building in this few minutes. We have a list of jokes, and we have here the list of jokes in your data. So that's an array of jokes. This is what we call the initial state. This is a usually the initial state will be something empty in a production application because you never know the jokes until the user uploads the jokes or something like that. It's all the content is always changing based on the user. So we're going to hard code some jokes right now, but obviously this will be an, an empty array. But you, don't, you do know for a fact that every single joke is going to have a question and a punchline. So let's just ask our AI for another joke. And we're going to incorporate that joke in our code. So why do programmers prefer that mode? Because light attract bugs. It's a very nice joke that it makes you laugh a lot. You will laugh a lot. OK. So I'm going to be adding now this second joke in my list, and you will see that this automatically updates on the application. And we have now two jokes. OK, that's fine so far. I'm going to deconstruct. I'm going to destroy the entire thing now and rebuild it in during the video so that you can see what we've done. So we know that we have a list of jokes. We're not going to be using the reducer yet. We're not going to be using this. And we're, we don't have this either. So this is the, mo the, the most simple setup for using the reducer, the use reducer. So let's say that you want to have something dynamic in your application like you had before when you used the use state, but now with the use reducer. So what you do is that you know that you're going to be using, obviously, the use reducer from React. So you're going to import use reducer from React. That's it. But when you use the use reducer, you always put the state and the dispatcher. And then you have to pass two things to the use reducer. The initial, no, the function that will modify your state and the initial state. So, And that's what we have here, the function that will modify your state and the initial state. So we're going to import that as well. So import initial state and state reducer from store. Initial state and state reducer. Oh, my right, it's the opposite. State reducer, initial state. And we're going to focus now on this left side. So what the reducer says is that when, once you have a state on your application, you have to have a function that will modify that state. And in this function, you will always have a switch. And in this switch, you're going to have at least two cases, at least. The first, the, the switch will switch on the action type, like that. So you will always, every time you call the dispatcher, you're going to have to pass a type. And that type, you're going to put names depending on your logic. Like, for example, if I want to add a joke, I, this will be the case for adding a joke. And then here inside, I have to do whatever I need to do to add that joke. So in our case, we're going to return the new version of this of the state that it's going to have the previous state, and this is always like that, and then it's it's going to have the array of jokes that we already had before, but we're going to add a new joke into that array. So we're going to put a new array. We're going to spread the previous array that we had. And then we are going to add a new joke. This is crazy that it's auto-completing the entire code base for me, like, because it's hard for me to explain as when the code is already there. But OK, so this, as you see here, the action is the only thing that you can modify. You cannot modify the state directly. So the left parameter, you're always going to live like that. You're going to focus this on the right parameter. The right parameter on the left side of the screen on here will always match what you pass to the dispatcher. So in the dispatcher, 
if I want to have a button, let's say that I, I want to have a button, that when I press that button, it adds a joke, I can do on click, and then when finally this button is pressed, I can dispatch. There it is, the code. That's crazy. Okay, I can dispatch a type that has to match this and the new joke that is going to be action.joke. So we have action.type and we have action.joke. So action, this is your action. What you pass to the dispatch is your action. So when, you, when you're passing to the dispatch something, just remember that you always put type and then something else. And then whatever you put, when you put the type, it's here. And then whatever else you want to use, you don't have to call it joke. You can call it payload. Some people call it payload. But you know that the payload is a joke because we are talking about jokes here in this application. So type and payload. And this payload is a joke. And it's a joke that will get added into the store. So it cannot have ID and text. It must have a question. And then it must have a punchline. So the question will be, why do programmers prefer dark mode? Like that. Oops. And the, pay, the punchline would be, because light attract bugs. So I'm passing the type and the payload, and then I'm receiving from here the action type, and I'm passing it to the switch, and I'm also receiving the payload and I'm passing it as a new item into this array. And then let's see if this works. So it's saying uh, can cannot assign read only property message on objects is unexpected. So there's a comma that is unexpected somewhere. Maybe this comma is unexpected. Oh no, I'm missing a, a curly bracket. Look. So I'm just gonna put it here. That's great. Okay. So there's my button. Let's see. I'm going to add it now. One, two, three. Boom. Nothing happened. So if nothing happened, it means, well, yeah, it's not like nothing happened. It's that I am actually adding it. That's fine. It's cool. But I'm not printing the store anywhere. So I'm just going to put here an array of jokes. There it is. Data jokes that map. And then I'm going to print for each joke. I'm going to be printing me a second here for each joke I'm gonna print an ally that will have the joke the joke question and the joke punchline so there it is let's see if it works there is you see how I have now oh it's punchline my bad punchline you see how I have now five jokes? It's because I clicked a lot. Look, as I click, it adds more until I refresh. If I refresh, it will start from scratch. So what's happening here? Let's explain this for a second. Every single time that you dispatch, the state reducer will get called, and then the entire component will re-render. OK, everything will render from scratch, all of it, the entirety. Every time that you dispatch, the entire component will re-render. But the second time that it renders, or the next time that it renders, it will already render with the updated uh, state. So with this one, in this case, is with this one, with whatever it had before, but with a new joke on it. Because what happens if I don't, if I don't add the spread of the previous jokes? What happens if I keep it like this? Well, it will never add the second joke. Look, I'm going to save it. Now it's like that. I'm going to refresh. And if I click on add, it will never add the second one. You see, it's always in the first one. That doesn't mean that it's not adding the second one. It, it is adding it, but it's removing the previous ones because I never spread the previous one. Oh, another thing I can do is I can say here, state the jokes dot concat. That also works because I'm saying the previous I'm saying the previous jokes, but I also want to concatenate the new payload with the new joke. That would also work. Look, if I'm if I'm saving here, you'll see that it's adding now to the array. So 
since this is so similar to the reducer, to the um, use state, just to finish the video. If this is so similar to use, use state, why do we want to use the state reducer instead of using, or the use reducer instead of using the use state? Well, it has several advantages. The use reducer forces you to create this function here. And when you create this function, you organize your code better. Okay, you organize it better. So basically, now I'm forced to have more cases like this. One for adding, one for removing a joke, or maybe for resetting the jokes. It doesn't matter. And believe it or not, splitting your code like this, it prevents more bugs than putting all the logic on the right side here when you were using the use state. Because in the use state, you could also do a similar logic. And having an initial state is also a, 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 an amazing way of organizing your thoughts because that way you organize and you, you think, okay, I would need this type of data structure. I would need an array and, and I know that all of my jokes need a question and a punchline. And with the use state, it's a little bit more informal. So it doesn't force you to do things and this one is forcing you to do things. So that's why it has become more popular. So I, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Good luck. See you next time.